ladies and gentlemen, this next now, there's a way back to the Bucket Island faction, right where your referee pulls out will be Josh Moore. It's the first Bucket Island Red Corner, and we're going to win three losses. Stay six feet tall, right now, 170 pounds. Right now, Jack, you're going to be in Mountain City, Tennessee, Billy Jones. Standing across the bed, fighting in the middle of the blue corner, with a pair of two wins, one loss. John Morehouse from MMA Insider, joined by Adam Prime, Tom Townsend. We're entering sort of the, the, the main attractions here at Volunteer Brawl, and you can tell that by the reactions for Wade Wilcox, an Oxford native, making a return from a long layoff against the youngster, Billy Combs. Nice little jab by Billy Combs coming out. And Wilcox immediately at the takedown. Huge double leg. I don't know the age of Wade, but he has definitely he got his grown man strength. And this is going to be bad because he has very nice control. And, and Billy Combs pops right out of it. Nice. Wilcox is actually 45 years old. That's incredible. You know, I, I hope I'm – It's like I'm two U's. Yeah. You know, he, he's he, – five, five years less. I'm 25, so that'd be – yeah. That, that's a – He's probably a twice difference. the age of Billy Combs at least. At least, I would say you're exactly right. This is going to be, you know, Billy Combs on top. Uh, you know, I, I think that Wade is looking for a triangle, maybe possibly an arm bar. Now he's just looking to get up at this point. So we're going to see if Billy will just hold him down for a minute. So you wonder if that, you know, I mean, it's literally a, a grown man against a young, a young guy he's the coming up in the right sport. This, John. Arm, yeah, nice. He got out of it. Yeah, I mean, good punches from Billy. He needs just need to separate. Now he's taken down and right in the mount again. He got out the first time. Let's see if he can do it again, John. Billy, I will, I will give him credit. He takes yeah. tough fights like this one. He took his uh, first MMA fight against Kyle Jones on short notice. Right, we're coming up, setting it up. He really needs to posture up. Uh, I don't know the, 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 the weight difference, but Billy looks a lot bigger than Wade. He's definitely taller, more filled out, but Wade, Wade's pretty ripped. Yeah, he's stuck in a triangle, you better posture up. Now what? What Wade needs to do is turn to his left and underhook his right leg. And that'll cinch the triangle up and make it a little bit deeper. Oh! Now he'll grab under that left leg. Wait. Billy needs to posture up. It's going to be tough to get out of. He's fighting. He's pushing ahead. Hard oh, pushing. Billy with some shots. Yeah. He's Trying still fighting out of it. What Billy needs to do is need to put his left knee right in Wade's face. He's coming out of it. Releases the triangle. Yes. Now, the oh! Good, good punches from Billy. But the bad thing now is is that Wade's leg is going to be gassed. I mean, his legs are going to be on fire right now because he was using every energy he could to try to finish that choke. I mean, I think it's clear, too. I mean, Billy's a hard puncher. I mean, if he could keep his fight standing, you know, defend the takedown, you know, we could see a, a result that's not going to make the Knoxville fans here too happy tonight. I know. Um, Wade, what, what, what Billy needs to do is get rid of that um, guillotine because that's going to do him nothing but get him mounted, crucifix right here. And it's going to wear your arms out, too. Yeah, I mean, there's just, it's, it's doing absolutely nothing uh, other than holding position. But now he's in a crucifix. It's a very bad position. He needs to get that left arm free immediately. But 10 seconds left, so we'll see if he can get finish it right here. Back to mount. 10 seconds. Somebody's left. lost a mouthpiece. Billy spit, Billy spit it out a long time ago. That's definitely a big Wade round for Wade. Wade getting a big ovation here in this Knoxville crowd. Billy's hurting. He took some shots there at the end. Yeah, He's feeling it. He needs the impact because the mouth guard. Shout out. <laughs> Get his mouthpiece out. Um, I'll tell you something that I would, if I was in Wade's corner, I would tell Wade to no longer go to mount because Billy's obviously strong and, and just escaping. So Billy should or Wade should just stay in like side control or maybe even half guard and just work from there. That's what I would tell him. If I tell Billy, I tell Billy to keep it standing. Well, I think it's interesting. You know, Wade, Wade Wilcox, I believe his last fight before this was in 2009. That predates my involvement in the sport as a reporter and a media person. That predates your involvement in the sport as a fighter. So 
for us, I mean, I think it's fair to say I'm more familiar with Billy Combs than I am Wilcox. Wilcox just entering this fight just on reputation, I think, for a lot of yeah. people who are sort of new to the fight game. Uh, but I was definitely impressed in that round. Had the opportunity to finish it on a couple of cases, some nice submissions, uh, some good ground and pound late. Clearly won the round, and we had to round two, for, which we haven't seen many round two so far. Tonight. Nope, no, we haven't. Billy, uh, Billy's in the white shorts, Wade's in the blue shorts. We're going to clean up a little bit of the, uh, the oh, ice over here. This, I, I don't know if anybody's ever seen the Joe Rogan and, and Ice Bill in the UFC fight, but if you've never if you've never watched that, Google YouTube uh, Joe Rogan Ice Bill. It's one of the funniest things you'll ever watch. Once again, I wonder about the conditions. It's humid. It's hot. We're outside, and we've we've not seen any even third round fights tonight. But you got to think that at some point the conditions are going to be a factor for these guys and affecting stamina and the ability to just keep going. Yeah, this would have been a good camp to run outside a lot for and, and get some of this heat. Uh, Wade switches to southpaw now. He's probably looking for a shot. He's probably a wrestler. Nice little jab. Billy needs to circle to his left and stay away from that, that straight left hand of Wade's. He's circling the wrong way. He needs to circle, start circling to his left. Head kick. Catches the kick. Got double unders. And he goes right in. Now, he, see if he goes to mount again. and Trust to the body right away by Wade. This is a more dominant position for Wade to be in right now, simply because he's been he's been swept from Mount so many times in the previous round. Scott Holtzman providing some coaching from Wilcox's corner. Wilcox is Shield Systems guy. See Shield System holding on right now. Just holding on for dear life. It, that's what it looks as as of now. We'll see if he tries to do anything else. What he needs to do is get that get that underhook, and he needs to get that right arm out from him between uh, Wade's legs. And Wilcox is watch the 11 o'clock arm bar or the Kimura right here from, from Wade because mm -hmm. that's what he's setting up. Nice I mean, little knee. And he's just tying poor Billy Combs in knots right now. Yeah. He's mixing in some ground and pan, stretching him out, he's going for arms, going for the head. Billy Combs, uh, if he had tried to cage walk him, maybe bridge him over top, it, it, it might work for him. Uh, he, but he's, he's not doing any oh, kind of big shot to the body. Right in cruc the amount of crucifix. Worst position you can be in in MMA. Spit his mouthpiece out again. Yep, right there's what he needed to do, but but he was there waiting on it. You know, it seems, and I, I'm not saying this to disrespect Billy Combs in any way. It seems like, you know, he's obviously an athletic guy, a strong guy, but really it just seems like that's all he's bringing to the table right now. It's yeah, I, you know. Raw he's, strength he's and athleticism. The, uh, looks like he's the tapping, that's Americana. it. Uh, wait. Yeah, I by. couldn't see what that was, that Adam. Was you had a better look. That was Americana. Uh, it's a shoulder lock, kind of an elbow lock as yeah. well. Uh, very, very, it's a kind of a hard move to finish, especially in, in, in MMA. You don't see a lot of the finishes uh, up from an Americana, but uh, great job from Wade. You know, he showed he had a little bit better jiu-jitsu than Billy. You know, we'll see how it goes. Wade Wilcox, Knoxville guy, makes his return after about five years out. Sends the folks home happy with a submission victory in the second round. We'll await the official result from Cody Gwynn, and we'll be back right after this.